Hello and welcome to this tutorial of Shopify Odoo Connector by Amipro. In this video, I will show you how to export and update products from Odoo to Shopify and various other operations related to it. For that, we will first go to Sales and under the catalog, here is the option of products. And here I have already created some products which I want to export in Shopify. And we will see the example of simple products and variant related products which I have already created here. Let's say I have dress with the 9 variants and other products are simple. So for export them, let's make this product in the list view from here. And I want to export this all the products so I'll select that all. And we can see the action button appears here so click on it. And we have the option of prepare product for export in Shopify. So this option itself says that it will just prepare our product to export. It will not export directly from here. So let's prepare our product to export. And here it asks me to add my instances to which I want to export my products. You can add multiple instances if you use multiple stores of Shopify. But I have created just one instance so I'm selecting that. And then click here prepare product for export in Shopify. And now we need to go to Shopify and let's check what is the status of our products. And yes, we have prepared 8 products to export and it shows me in this screen. So from here we will export our products and product variants to Shopify. But before exporting that products, I need to give you some information about this small screen. This is very exciting place actually. With the help of Shopify connector, you can create multiple instances in Odoo. And if you do so, all the instances will appear here. I have created just one instance as USA so it is showing me here for this instance I can do all kind of work from here in the small screen so it is showing me all the operations which I can apply for this particular instance let's say here is the option of settings financial status mismatch log products orders delivery invoices collections in that custom collection and smart collections and from here in the more option we have the further details of our products sales delivery and invoice let's say in the products we have exported how many products are exported how many ready to export published unpublished in the sales we have quotation risky quotation sales analysis and for the delivery invoices we have all the options so we can perform this all the options from here in this small screen so firstly I need to export my products which is showing me here 8 products click on it and here we have this all the products which I want to export we can export our products with two ways so I will show you now the first one for that select some products from here let's select t-shirt and red scarf and handbag and the action button appears here click on it and here are the options that which process you want to do with this particular product. So you want to delete this product or you want to export this product or update this products and product related uh, some things like stock you want to update price or images. So here I want to export my products so I'm selecting this and here is the options that I want to export my products and with that I want to set the price so I'm selecting yes and i want to set the stock also so yes and i want to set the images as well so i'm selecting yes and you want to export this products on your website so publish in website so i'm checking this option also and finally we will export this product and export product and here you can see this three options are checked here for exported in Shopify of our products uh, one is handbag and second is a t-shirt and the red scarf so let's see what is the status in our Shopify store for that go to Shopify and here is the option products go to that and we can see this three products are available and exported su successfully handbags red scarf and t-shirt and also we have exported and published that so let's see the status of our front store go to that and here in the catalog and yes it is also published uh, for handbag red scarf and t-shirt and now we will see the another method of export the products for that go to Shopify connector and now we will export our rest products in a bulk for that go to dashboard and navigate Shopify and here we have to select the perform operation and 
we will export our products from ERP to Shopify so, so go to that and here we have this options of our product that we want to export our product or publish or update this product or update stock price image so we want to export our product so let's click on it and then execute and now our export operation is done successfully so let's check the status of our products which is exported yet or not so yes we have exported some products in the bulk and it is already exported and it is showing me here exported in Shopify it is checked right now now let's see the status of our Shopify dashboard that it is exported there or not so that go to products again and yes we have exported that products and it is showing me here that all the products firstly we have exported three products and then we have exported in the bulk five products so it's all are here now let's check the status of our front store go to that and here we can scroll and you can see this all the products are available here one two three four and four eight products are available here now let's see the status of our variant related product which we have created dress so let's go to dress and yes we have the variant products available here that uh, the color size are different and the color i have three options black red and white and in the size i have large medium and small so i have nine different variants available here and also their images are available in here so till now we have exported our products and let's see now that how to update our products for that go to our Shopify and then select your product which you want to update so I'm selecting that scarf and then add it and here we can add some tag of our product and we can also set some images extra from here so firstly we will uh, add our tag so before i selecting this product tags i'll show you that how to create new product tags from here in the products and product tags select this option and open it in new tab go to here and we can see this four product tags are available here red women man and blue and we will quickly create some new product tags from here create new one and then add your option let's say women's scarf and then save it again create new one and we will add red scarf and again save it so now we can add this product tags related to our product go to our product and then select your tags let's say we can add red women then women's scarf red scarf so this all product tags we need to update with this product and let's go to gallery image and see here we have already set one image as our product template but I want to add some more images for this product so I will add that from here and add your image from here from here we can give the sequence of our image that in the which position our image should become let's say here I am entering the one and I want to save some more images so save and new and then again select give the rank save and new So here I have selected three images and one was already there so now let's save it and in the right of this page we have the option of Shopify publish so this image we want to publish in our Shopify store so if yes then click here so in the red scarf we have updated product tags and the gallery images now update it in our Shopify store also so for that let's go to product again and select the red scarf and here the action button appears here click on it so when we are updating our product here we can see that we can update the price of our product we can update image we can update stock also even description and tags we can update but here in this product I just want to update the tags and image but I will show you that how we can update our products price stock description and the name of our product so we will go to our product open it in a new tab and then 
select one product let's say handbags and then add it here we have already learned that how to update the tags and we have learned how to update image also but now we will see that how to add it description and how to update that so from here we can uh, edit it let's say here i am writing female handbags also i can change the name of my product let's say here i can uh, change handbags to something else let's say handbags female and then i can save it but right now i don't want this changes so i'm just discarding it so here we can see again the description of handbags came back and the title of my product is also showing me the same and for the updating of our product price and stock we have to go to in the sales and then go to product open one product and see here is the option of update quantity on hand so if i will click this it will show me this menu so here i have to set the location of my product and i have to set the new quantity of my product so let's say i'll set it 30 and then i can apply it so here it shows me that 30 quantity of this product is available here and if i want to update in my shopify front store i have to then i have to go to our connector and then here is the option update stock and if i will click on this it will show me on our front store so now we will see that how to update the price of any product for that edit it and here it shows me the sales price of my this product and i can easily change it by here like this and i can save it but i don't want to do any changes in this product so i will keep this as it is and here it shows me that which operation i want to perform now so i want to update the image and i want to update tags also for updating our products again we have two different ways this is the first way so from here i'll just update our image and for tags i'll use different method so let's uh, update our images from here and select this option now let's use the different method for updating our tags for that go to navigate shopify and perform operation go to erp to shopify and for updating our, our tags we will select this option update products select it and then execute now let's check the status of our product tags and images in the shopify store go to that and scroll down and here is our red scarf click on it scroll down and yes we have added three more images to our product so it is showing me and the tags are also available here it is women's scarf women red scarf and red so finally we have exported our products odoo to shopify and updated various operations successfully thank you for watching this video i hope the video was helpful amipro specializes in providing customization consultancy and support for any and all services related to odoo so feel free to contact us on www.amiprotechnologies.com